What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and I'm we're here today to talk briefly about Mega Septile. Um, actually in the next couple of weeks expect little brief videos on each of the Megas uh, just talking about what becomes different when they Mega Evolve and also things you might want to expect and how to maybe try to check a few of those brand new threats as we get closer to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. For those of you playing on Pokemon Showdown, they actually, I believe, have already implemented all the Megas, their new stats, their abilities, and even the move tutors in Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. So these videos will be helpful if you're trying to ladder there and try out some new teams. But uh, otherwise, with Mega Sceptile, we can see that he actually gains a new type being in uh, Grass and Dragon, which now makes him four times weak to Ice, which is a little bit unfortunate. But he does get a trade off that fire weakness uh, in exchange for weaknesses now to Dragon and Fairy, in addition, of course, to the remaining poison weakness that he has. Um, so that those are some interesting uh, defensive weaknesses there. He still doesn't want to take a hit with those defenses. They are slightly buffed. But um, with base HP being at 70, of course, when you Mega Evolve, your HP does not change. Nothing too great there. What is fantastic, though, is the buff to his attack, special attack, and speed. Um, it really looks like they were focusing on the strong aspects of Sceptile here, because being at base 145 speed basically allows him to outspeed Choice Scarf Pokemon that are base 80 and below. Um, anything uh, that's going to be hitting around 427 speed, I believe, if not 427 exactly. So uh, base 80 Pokemon would be hitting right around 426 so with the choice scarf that is so he can outspeed a lot and that opens up a lot of options to him with a brand new stab uh dragon type move which is just great neutral coverage alongside grass of course grass and dragon are both resisted by steel types um and for the most part fairies generally aren't going to be taking much from a stab grass type attack, especially a special type one. So he gets some fantastic coverage options as well. Some of the sets you should probably look forward to seeing. If not, you may want to try some of these out yourself. The most popular one is just going to be a straightforward special sweeper, max special attack, um, max speed, and then just running four attacks. Those four are probably going to be something like Giga Drain, Focus Blast, Dragon Pulse, and then a filler move, maybe a Hidden Power of Fire, or we might even see something a little bit different like Substitute in three attacks. A mix Sweeper is also very, very um, likely just because Sceptile has such a variety in his move pool. Um, Earthquake, for example, uh, gives Sceptile a fantastic way to hit Steel types and most notably Heatran, which lasts at his two Stab type moves um, while shoring while really using that really great offensive 110 base attack. Uh, Swords Dance is also a thing that we might see just because he has such a great physical move pool uh, and he will be able to force a lot of switches, especially with people expecting the special set. Um, and that's where uh, the mix set really comes in there if you're able to utilize uh, his full move pool. He even gets some odd coverage moves such as Night Slash and things like that on the physical side, uh, you could really surprise some people. Um, in, of course, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, access to Giga Drain and Dragon Pulse are probably the two most notable new things that he's going to get. Um, he also gets access to Drain Punch and Thunder Punch, uh, Seed Bomb and Outrage in case you need some more physical options there. Drain Punch and uh, Giga Drain, of course, giving him the ability to recover his HP if he does take residual damage from switching into entry hazards or trying to switch into resisted attacks. Um, Lightning Rod, of course, makes him immune to paralysis, which is pretty notable for a fast Pokemon. And uh, he'll also be getting that special attack boost from the ability. So that will make him quite a force to deal with. Um, things that are going to be easy as far as checking Mega Sceptile are going to be Talonflame. No matter how fast Mega Sceptile is, priority in the form of a Gale Wings boosted Brave Bird, which of course gives Brave Bird plus one priority, will put Sceptile down pretty quickly because it is so frail. Now that being said, uh, priority Ice Shard on things like Mamoswine or Weavile will also put Mega Sceptile down very quickly. Again, bypassing his great speed to hit him with something that he's very, very weak to. 
So it's just good to, if you're building around Mega Sceptile, definitely have rock types to check those things like Talonflame or really bulky water types are great too. Water types are also good because often not only do they resist things like uh, Ice Shard, but they often use Toxic to wear down walls such as Chansey and Blissey and um, to a lesser extent Cresselia. Uh, even specially defensive Jirachi can basically take on uh, Mega Sceptile without any coverage moves, without any issue. Um, and it can also paralyze it with Body Slam and then flinch it to death. So those are just a few of the things that handle Mega Sceptile really, really easily. Uh, as far as my experience derping around on Pokemon Showdown at least. And uh, it's good to have those things in mind. If you don't have something that can kind of handle those things, Mega Sceptile is going to struggle. Also, Sticky Web is notable just because he is grounded. He's susceptible to Sticky Web. And of course, all forms of entry hazards, including spikes, toxic spikes, and stealth rocks. So having ways to get rid of those entry hazards not only help him, but it's gonna help your team generally. You should always have something to get rid of those. But Sticky Web makes him a lot easier to deal with because he's just not as fast. So those are just a few of my thoughts on Mega Sceptile. Um, make sure you leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and look forward to hearing about Mega Swampert next time. Bye bye guys.